Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G playing. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall. Some say he's man. I want to say this. Okay, we know you're doing your thing with TG Comics, but who's like the first official artist that you decided to manage? After Scotty. 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 And I was doing the rap. I was rapping and managing Scotty. Mm. And it just basically like shows how unselfish you are, too. Hell yeah, yeah, like, yeah, put my number in your bio. Woo -woo. I'm going to shoot all your videos. I'm going to shoot mine. We're going to do songs together. We're going to do this. We're going to do whatever we need to do. That's the first one I actually was managing. But like I say, with Lil Fat, I'm managing him. But I don't know. That's why I say my all my skills and management expertise, that shit really come from Lil Fat. But I don't know I'm managing him. This is really my partner. Like, we just fucking with each other. Back then, how long have I been dead? 10 years? So for this 15 years, I'm just fucking with him and doing shit to where that shit is installed in, into me to this day to where I still do it and move like it. So like, like my management skills, they come from that nigga. He just used to want me to talk for him. Yeah, you know what you're doing. And I want to highlight this while I'm thinking about it. It just popped in my head. We in H-Town, right? Mm-hmm. When you did a record with South Walker <laughs> back in the day, I, fuck like, with I, I knew about Sauce Walker, we, but at the time, I don't know if he was introducing him to BR. I but did, it kinda bro. was like he was yeah. the first. And I'm just, I'm thinking, I'm just like, you know. I put Sauce Walker in, I ain't going to say I put him in BR, but like, people ain't really know who he was. But that nigga a real nigga, I swear to God, Sauce Walker. Man, that nigga Sauce Walker, Sauce Walker a real nigga, bro. Like, you could tell, like, like I didn't meet every rapper from the biggest to the littest. I'm running the clubs in Baton Rouge, so when y'all come through there, y'all gotta come through me. Mm. You know, uh, Jay Lewis and Go Yellow on the song too. They was on the song. Yeah, Jay, you man, like man, Jay. I've been fucking with Jay Lewis since Jay Lewis got my fucking first club I ever had shit down. Wow. We got DJ Earl DJing. He in fucking high school, coming in there hosting and DJing. <laughs> And going back to school, we going to Scotlandville, we got these videos. We was the first nigga at our club. That's how our club got to jumping. That bitch got shit down by the police. But, man, we used to shoot videos at the club. They recording us. We tell them, yeah, we at Club Theory downtown every Friday. We jumping. Woo through woo. Vic next door at 600. We at Theory next door. So, J. Lewis, we posting these videos on the internet. And he in school posting them bitches. And that's underage people, so the people holler about they get a fucking complaint. The police say they get a complaint that we got underage people in our club, killers, criminals, and drug dealers. Cause Chad Kane on the run. So let me tell you this, like I man, I swear to God, I ain't never seen this shit no moving. I ain't never seen this shit. You can look at the news, like Google it, club theory, shit down. The fucking police hit this bitch like a trap house. Is this a club? We, we in the middle of the fucking club. Just picture you in the middle of the club. And all you hear is, freeze, get down. What the fuck? So we in this bitch, man, you see. Guns, weed, smoke, drink, sir, pills. You see all kind of shit on the floor. And we in that bitch, me and my little partner and them talking. We like, man, they ain't going to search everybody. Man, I swear to God, them people came to that bitch. Man, them fucking people. Them bitches came to the club, came in that bitch, ran in that bitch, blocked all the exits out, put police at the back door, police at the two front exits, set some fucking computers up at each door, and ran everybody's name when they came out that bitch. Wow. So it took us down there three hours to get out of the club, because you got to sit in the line. We sitting in the club. Man, you, you walking straight on weed. They got down there probably two, three pounds of weed and grams on the floor. Everybody done threw all their weed out. They done threw all they serve out. Everything. Police found about six guns. They had like 26 underage people. They ain't even count the weed and all that shit. Like, but we in that bitch. I'm like, man, this shit feel like a fucking movie. Like, these bitches really then came to this bitch and hit our club like a trap house. I ain't never heard that before. Man, Google it, man. Club Theory downtown is the hottest club ever to, like, that's how I really got my real, real, real name in Baton Rouge from that bitch. Like, like I say, Vic was jumping, but she, but this is why I respect that nigga Vic, though. Like, like right now, rappers. If a nigga tell you something, so while we got the club, remember I say my partner had the club? Mm -hmm. So while we got the club, 
Vic jumping. So we jumped that bitch off that one night. My partner go to jail. We can't get no club. We like, fuck. I'm like, man, I'm going to call Vic and see if we can team up with him. So I, I, hit, I hit him up, him and E, we hit him up. He like, they like, come to the club, Club Empire. Now that nigga on, he got Empire Wings. He got like three, four of them bitches in Baton Rouge. Mm. He retarded off Empire Wings, but there was his club at first. So I'm telling him, I'm like, man, say Vic. Man, we ain't got no club. You seen us just jump this bitch off this one night. We finna be the next niggas up. We finna, yeah, we finna do this. Let's, you know what I'm saying? Let us get a little spot at y'all club, but team over y'all. And nigga said, man, I'm gonna just be honest with you. Like, y'all ain't ready yet. You can't come in the game and be like, oh, I wanna team up with the best. That's why I say rappers be fucked up, because had this been some rap shit or some fake shit, nigga be like, all right, me and Vic would have been beefing right now. Because nigga be like, man, fuck all that, yeah, bitch, because cause he told me that. And I ain't, like I said, I ain't feel no type of way. Guess what? In about a month, that nigga Vic was calling my phone like, see, hey, y'all doing y'all shit. Y'all want to come over here? Y'all want to come over here to my club? Yeah. Fucking right. Yeah, let's get it. We coming over there. Let's get it, Vic. Bitch, let, yeah, let's run up. Yeah, let's get it. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, as I say, I'm, I'm a fucking genius. I took that shit a different way. Like, I ain't take that shit and been like, when I turned up, man, yeah, fuck that nigga. Man, fuck them niggas. Them niggas ain't want us. Them niggas ain't want us to come over there. Now we, yeah, fuck all that. Now we running this shit. Woo -de -woo -woo. Guess what? I did what I had to do. What he said. We got my shit together, and then I came back, and we collabed. Now I come back, and now we over here. We jump in his club. All, we at his club on, on Saturdays, and he at our club on Fridays. The same thing I asked for. I couldn't get it, and he told me like a man. Like, no, y'all ain't ready for that shit. Mm -hmm. Like, we the, yeah, him and E, they like, man, look, we the big dogs of this shit. Like, y'all ain't, ain't ready for that shit yet. Shit, fuck it. You know what? I ain't tripping. Man, that nigga cool. Man, that nigga like this to this day. That's why I call that nigga in order. I want some Empire Wings, I fall in that rack. I'm going to whip to that bitch, whip up to the back. Vic, I want this. Whoop the whoop, hardly go pick it up, cash at me whenever you get ready. Uh, it's good, whatever. But that nigga, man, that nigga real nigga, bro. That nigga, that nigga, like, that nigga really taught me some valuable life lessons. Like, had I been on some ignorant shit, like, man, fuck that nigga. Whoop the man, them niggas talking about they don't want to do nothing with us. Whoop the whoop, I'm like, you know what, man, I'm going to go pay my dues. I'm going to turn this bitch up. I went and did that shit and turned it up quick, too.